there. It's me, Nancy Drew. You're just in time for my latest mystery, Treasure in the Royal Tower. Choose your difficulty level to start off. If you're new to adventure games, you might want to click the tutorial button first for a few tips on how to play the game. Hello, my little rose petals and my little rose thorns. Welcome back to the channel for the first episode of our July mini series, Nancy Drew, Treasure in the Royal Tower. So, uh, funny story. Um, first of all, my dog is chewing on a squeaky toy in the background, which is super freaking annoying for our first part. Um, I might take it away from him, so just give me a hot second. So now that that's dealt with, um, second funny story is the fact that I have already recorded this part, and so it's a little aggravating to me because I had already recorded this part, and apparently OBS did not record it. It told me it recorded but it really didn't record. So, um, yeah, I'm recording this part again and it's just great. It's fun. It's fabulous. So yes, I'm going to record this part again. It's really no big deal. Nothing really super exciting happened. I mean, it's the first part though. It was really annoying. I don't know what happened, but whatever. We just going to get in here and do this. So, um, we're going to start with junior detective. This is, before I get into this, this is the fourth game, the actual fourth game in the Nancy Drew series, not Secret of the Scarlet Hand. I don't know why I said Secret of the Scarlet Hand was the fourth. I've always, I guess, thought that. I don't know, but this is the actual fourth game. So we're going to play it. So we're going to be a junior detective. Dear George, so much for my Wisconsin ski vacation. I arrived here at Whitford Castle last night, just before a blizzard swept in. The mountain is completely shut down, and the surrounding roads are closed. I think I'm one of the few guests who made it to the castle at all. The place is huge and old, and slightly creepy under the circumstances. You should hear this wind. What's more, the owner, Christy Lane, my father's friend, is away on business. I tried to ask the caretaker, Dexter Egan, how I could contact her, but he said he didn't know. Doesn't that seem odd? I couldn't help feeling like there was something he wasn't telling me. All this makes me a little nervous, but I'm determined to enjoy myself. After all, this is a vacation, right? I have big plans to explore the castle. That Ezra Wickford, the original owner, must have been quite a character to have built such an extraordinary place. It's filled with strange, dead-end corridors, for one thing. And I notice one of the towers is totally different from the other ones. Of course, I'll have to save some time to meet the Jacques Brunet, the French ski instructor. Tell Best she'll be the first to know if he's half as gorgeous in person as he looks on his website. So, George, I guess things never quite go according to plan. But at least this time, the culprit is just a snowstorm. Talk to you soon. Love, Nancy. Now all I need is a mailbox. All right. So, oh, 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 sorry, 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 sorry. I just dumped my water bottle over the place. There wasn't anything in it, so it's okay. It's fine. All right. So we're getting off to a great part. Um, start of this thing. So, yes, this is Treasure of the Royal Tower. We are in Wickford Castle. And I am, like, pumped up on caffeine. So excuse me if I'm a little woohoo all over the place. Okay. So, um, first things first, we're getting our room car key. We are in room 205. Um, disclaimer, as I always like to say before these videos, because I've done, I've played most of them. I have played this game before. This is actually the first ever Nancy Drew game I ever played back when I was young. So it's just, it's, I, I would say sentimental to me. Um, it's one of my favorites just because it is my first. So I've probably played this one about a million times. Um, it's the first one I ever completed on my own. Um, so yeah, um, <laughs> sorry if you just heard my phone, but, uh, yeah, so I know how it ends. I know who the culprit is, all that stuff. So I'm going to keep it totally secret. Um, let you guys figure it out. Um, this, 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 you know, little one will be more of a walkthrough, I guess. So anyway, you're going to go in here and you're going to take this locker number 310, combination 517. Um, you don't get to take this with you, so it's okay. God, what is that awful racket? Oh, yeah, it's this. Sounds like the radiator is broken. Oh, God, I forgot about that, actually. Ugh, that's annoying. I was like, what the heck? 
Um, okay, so this is Nancy's room. It's very nice. It could use with a touch up of decor, but you know. Um, let's see. So, sassy detective. Oop, I clicked on that a little too fast. Um, these are so cute. Fingerprinting 101. What's in her bag? Amateur detectives and the sleuthy gadgets they won't leave home without. Okay, so this issue tells you all about fingerprinting, and it says, when we touch things, some of the oil from our skin is left behind on the surface of the thing we have touched. Our fingertips have, oh gosh, our fingertips each have a unique pattern on them, and the oil shows or prints this pattern. This is how we get the term fingerprint. When you touch several surfaces with the same fingertip, the oil begins to get used up, so the fingerprint becomes lighter and lighter. The most common method of discovering fingerprints is called dusting. When you brush a light powder over a surface, the powder or dust will cling to the oil left by fingerprints, revealing the f oh, fingertips, revealing the fingerprints. Remember, fingerprints will appear in darker or lighter shades depending upon how much oil is present. Now, sassy detectives put two and two together to figure out how to determine a keypad access code. Here's a little test. If you saw the four fingerprints below, what order would you put them in from first to last? Will the darkest fingerprint be the first button that was pressed or the last? So then, what's the code? So basically, what this is, is it's 1735 because it goes from dark to light. And we will. this will be useful later on in the game. So, um, we also have Nancy Sutkes with a Wickwood Castle Vacation Resort. I am so sorry that I'm like so hyper, but it's okay. Um, welcome to Wickford Castle. I'm not going to read all this, but I will say in 1920, Ezra Wickford, the inventor of chocolate milk, dreamed of building a castle like no other. Uh, Ezra Wickford, Wickford was not the inventor of chocolate milk, just saying. Uh, I don't know who it was, but it's not Ezra Wickford, but whoever it was is a godsend because I love me some chocolate milk. Okay, so that's just a little, um, yeah, this is just a little, it tells you all about, um, the castle and stuff so basically to sum it up the castle um was in f not the whole castle i don't think the whole castle but this castle was built and the one tower of the castle was um made or constructed in france and then it was brought over here it was deconstructed and then rebuilt over here i think i i'm i don't know exactly how that worked anyway so let's see wickford castle menu breakfast lunch and dinner uh, let's see. Baby back ribs with creature of the night barbecue sauce. Ten dollars. Eh, it's actually not bad. Fried bologna sandwich. Gross. Crushed potato chip sprinkles. Okay, gross. Anchovy heaven. No, thank you. Hot diggity. All you can eat fried chicken drumsticks. Ten dollars. Something smoking chili cheese dog. Butter and nut and broccoli surprise. Ooh, the desserts look good. I don't see breakfast on here. Okay. Weird. Okay, I've never actually noticed that. I've never I don't see breakfast on there. Um all right. So I think that is everything that we need to see in Nancy's room. Oh, we can look at her alarm clock and then we have a phone. Um Yeah, so let's go on out here. That's her closet. Whoopsie. Alright. So here is the castle with all its mini halls. Uh, you can even hear the wind. Oh, I love, I love wind and snow. I am, I'm a fan girl for it. Definitely. Okay, so we've got some little postcards over here, like Peppercliff Farms. I think this is, this might be, these places right here might be actual places. Um, not sure on that. Uh, Wickford Castle, Butter Ridge Ski Resort, Land of Lakes, Wisconsin. I've never been to Wisconsin. Um... My fiance has extended, extended, extended family in Wisconsin, um, and he always wants us to go, but I'm kind of like, eh. <laughs> oh, Miss Drew, did you get squared away upstairs? Um, yeah, uh, yeah, my, my room has this weird radiator thing going yes, on. Yes, thanks, Mr. Egan. My room is charming, but I think there's something wrong with my radiator. It hisses, and there's a clanging noise, too. Would you mind checking it out for me? Sorry about that inconvenience, but you're just gonna have to sit tight for a while. I'm the only one on duty while the owner's away. And around here, it seems like even if it ain't broke, it still needs fixing. 
Last time I That's checked, everywhere. there were only 24 hours in a day. And now, to make matters worse, there have been a couple of incidents. I hope it's nothing serious. The owner, Christy Lane, is a friend of my father's, and I know how much she loves this castle. Everything's under control. Is there something else, Miss Drew? Yikes, this man is a tough cookie. Okay, well, um, I need a stamp. Can you get me a stamp, or is that too much work for you? I just need a stamp to send this letter, and then I'll be off to explore the castle. Well, I can take your letter, but the mail's not going anywhere for a while. It's snowing like there's no tomorrow out there. Whoop, whoop. So explore all you want. Take the grand tour. But forget about the library. It's off limits. Library? Did he just say library? You mean library? Library. Say it with me. Library. Library? Really? Okay. Um. <laughs> I really want to say this, but I don't really want to piss him off. So. Off limits? Someone vandalized our historic library really turn the place upside down the owner miss lane she's gonna be pretty upset when could this have happened i have no idea i straightened up in there before checking yesterday and everything was fine now it looks like a bomb went off books everywhere and somebody hacked a big hole in one of the walls i locked the place up and called the police but who knows when they'll be able to get here mm. Wow, that's too bad. Well, can you recommend any other points of interest for me to check out? Depends on what you're interested in. Our special this week is the crazy old bird upstairs. Just follow your ears. The peck, peck, peck of that typewriter will lead you right to her. <laughs> Sounds like you have some sort of a run-in with this bird yourself. Oh my gosh. Crazy old bird? What do you mean? Are you talking about one of the other guests? Well, this Professor Hotchkiss just called me in a terrible flat, saying our room's been robbed. I went up there, but she wouldn't open the door to talk about it. Wouldn't even tell me what was missing. So what's she want me to do about it? Oh, boy. Sounds like you're swamped, Mr. Egan. Is there any way I can help? Well, Hotchkiss has a pair of ski boots in the basement. The Frenchman's been working on them for her, but he won't deliver them. Says he's a ski instructor, not a bellhop. I hate to ask this, but if you could grab those boots and bring them up to her, it might smooth her feathers. It sure would smooth mine. Um, let's not ask him okay. about that. Okay, see ya, Mr. Egan. You're a trooper. Yikes. Yeah, so, okay, yeah, come on a vacation and do chores. Awesome, all right. So this is the sitting room. Um, oh, how I would love to sit in one of these chairs right by the snow and the roaring fire. Oh, I cannot tell you how, how guys, how much I love, excuse me, the colder months, fall, winter. Oh, those are my jams. Okay. So major figures of the French Revolution. Um, these books, uh, they'll come in handy later or well they might they might not it just kind of depends but we'll go into that later um so it's just kind of best if nancy looks at them i mean yeah this is all about the french revolution which makes sense most of the books in nancy drew games kind of do mean something um at some point or another is there anything else we can read or look at no okay oh, i'm getting dizzy all right hi i'm lisa did you hear what happened? Someone broke into the library and vandalized it. Dexter locked it up. He's saying the culprit must be one of us in the castle. Can you believe it? Yeah, Dexter just told me the library is a disaster area and that it's totally off limits. Too bad, huh? I'm dying to see what they did to it. Don't quote me on this, but I think Dexter has an extra key to the library somewhere around his desk. I guess you've really got your finger on the pulse around here. Any other castle scandal I should know about? Oh, we got scandal, honey. Professor Hotchkiss is claiming she's been robbed, for one thing. But the real scandal is downstairs. His name is Jacques Brunet. What do you know about Professor Hotchkiss? Oh my gosh, wait till you hear this. Hotchkiss is this nutty old woman who's always typing and talking to herself in her room. 
I was walking past her door earlier, and I heard her screaming that her room had been robbed. Hmm. Interesting. Everyone keeps saying she's a nutty old bird. You said she's a professor. Do you know what she teaches? I'm really not sure. She just kept wailing, my theory, my theory. I think she teaches history, or maybe a foreign language. I thought I heard a couple of French words pop out of her mouth. But don't quote me on that either. I only barely passed Spanish in high school. Habla Espanol? Hardly. I'm just a humble photojournalist covering weird old mansions in the Midwest. And this place is one of the weirdest. Did you know Ezra Wickford, the original owner, shut himself away in here for like 50 years? Why? You must know a great deal about this place. Not really, but I sure want to get into that tower that came from France. It'd be great for my story. Too bad Wickford sealed it off. Maybe it's his ghost making those creepy noises at night. That's great. What noises? Oh, just your average bump in the night sound effects. It's probably just Dexter trying to spook up the hotel for the publicity. I mean, did we stumble onto the set of As the Castle Turns or what? Well, you probably want to get settled. I wonder what we're going to do with ourselves while we're all cooped up in this place. I'll let you get back to your magazine. Stay warm. All right, so that is Lisa. Um, I don't know if we ever figure out how old she's supposed to be, but she sounds like she's 12, and that just tells me all I need to know about her. All right, so, um, yes, let's go on downstairs. Oops, oops, oops. Ooh, very dark corner. We're going to go down here. And I wonder if... Who we need to meet is over here. No. Okay. Um, oh, interesting. Um, hmm. Well, what time is it? Uh, let's say 1 p.m. So it'll we'll open back up at 2. So let's go over here then um, and try our locker. What was our locker? Those are all their lockers. It's over here. 517, I think. Let's try that. I don't actually know what I'm doing. Okay, here we go. I haven't opened a locker in like, I don't know, 16 years. I don't know. Oh, wait. Turn the wrong way. The combination is 517, but it's not working. Hmm. It's not working, huh? Alrighty. Well, um. Okay. Well, let's go. So, I do want to meet Dexter in this part. So in this game, the great thing is, is that um, you can skip time by using the alarm clock. Oh my gosh, that actually scared me when I opened the door. Okay. Um, yes, you can actually set time. So we're going to set it for two. Which is when Dexter, or Dexter, when Jacques should be back. Um, and that is the great thing about the alarm clock is it's like the same thing as like secret of scarlet hand you can set it to past time oh right right it's already up here oopsie oh you don't need to go there okay uh basement Bonjour, mademoiselle. Je m'appelle Jacques Brunet. So, 
What brings you to beautiful Wisconsin? Ooh, uh, bonjour. Bonjour. Je m'appelle Nancy Drew. I'm here on vacation. What's your excuse? Uh, my excuse? Yeah, what brings a professional skier from France to Wisconsin? Why not Aspen or Lake Tahoe? I am here for Isabelle, mon petit chou. She's an American studying at the university in Madison, and I've asked her to marry me. That is excuse enough to be in Wisconsin, n'est-ce pas? And besides, I am not the first French work of art to end up here. <sighs> no, but you are the nicest looking French of art to end up here. Ah, so you came halfway across the world for love. That's a fine excuse. So, when's the wedding? Uh, uh, as soon as possible. Are you the eager one, or is she? Do not ask me about the affairs of my heart, Nancy. Or I would think you are trying to steal it. But tell me, uh, how will you spend your time here, Nancy? I'm dying to have a look inside that library. I heard it was vandalized. Do you know anything? Nancy, a pretty girl should not worry herself with this type of thing while she is on vacation. Uh, I should warn you, Dexter is very protective of this place. He does not take kindly to people snooping around where they should not. You obviously do not know who Nancy Drew is. Thanks for the tip, but I think Dexter and I are going to get along just fine. Get along just fine, you say? <laughs> ah, a woman who knows her own powers of persuasion. Elle est dangereuse, no? Ciao! Alright, so that is Jacques, but we need to get the boots from him. Ah, uh, Nancy, comment ça va? Um... Tell me about these boxes you're making. When I am not skiing, I need some other way to express myself. So voila! I make these hot boxes, for keeping secrets safe. I'm sure you have many secrets, Nancy. Oh, absolutely. Do you know much about the tower that's closed off? I heard the original owner imported it from France. It comes from the Chateau Rochemont in a town in France near where I grew up. And Marie Antoinette used to visit this tower when she was Queen of France. Until she lost her head in the revolution, that is. True. Dexter told me the combination to my locker, number 310, is 517. I tried it, but the locker won't open. Hmm, Dexter must be confused, because I think that is the combination for number 311. Uh, try 311. I need to bring Professor Hotchkiss her boots. Do you have them? Uh, yes, I fixed her boots. Uh, but you should be relaxing by the fire, sipping cocoa, Nancy. Not running errands for Dexter. I'll talk to you later. A bientôt. All right, so... Uh, we now have the right combination for our locker. Um, I think I'm going to just go ahead and open it. Um, right. Just so we know where to put our ski stuff, you know. Right, whoa, someone's stuff's already in here. Hmm. Oh, I got a camera. What's this? Lisa, mi amiga. Oh, this is Lisa's. Okay, here we go. Uh, whoa. Helen Carp. Date issued, expiration. Wait, 115. Hmm. Whoa. Alina Boyd. Illinois. Florida. Tanya Lee Gooding. She was born in 74. Hmm. Yeah, she definitely does not sound that old. Passports. Helen Carp, North Carolina. Whoa. Helen Carp. Tanya L. Gooding. Whoa. Lisa is dabbling in some pretty serious things. Hmm. I wonder what is going on with that. All right. Anyway, you guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this part here for the second time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, in the next part, we are going to meet the last character of the game, who is Professor Hoskins. Professor Hotchkiss and deliver her boots 
to her. Um, so yeah, I already have these episodes pre-recorded now because I, yeah, I had to record this part again. So no worries, but that is what we're going to do in the next part. So I hope you like the first start to our mini series. I know a lot of you are enjoying the Nancy Drew series as a whole. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos from me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I will see you, my lovely little rose petals, in the next video. Bye, you guys.